Welcome back. Now we get back into our stories then, of course, today. The biggest story today is the interview, of course, uh, with the PIC chairman, that's Dr. Royal Causa. Yesterday, we got the news then that Abel Sitole has moved from being the client to now being the head of, South of the biggest uh, investment management company, of course, then in Africa then. That's the Public Investment Corporation. He moves then from the GEPF. He's a man with many, many accolades and, of course, a history uh, that has gone very, very far in the financial sector as well. Let's chat then to the PIC chairman. That's uh, Dr. Rokoza then, who joins us as well then for this interview. Baba, it's been uh, a time, I suppose, of great turbulence for the PIC itself. Is this a way to steady the ship? Undoubtedly. I think the uh, way to steady the ship had to take um, a number of steps. The first significant step was to put in place a board that could actually uh, see to the governance, the proper governance, and begin to clean up uh, some of uh, the areas that uh, needed attention as well as uh, to uh, review the memorandum of uh, incorporation with uh, the uh, shareholder to make sure that uh, even as we recommend a model that uh, we believe could work well, uh, that is done even before getting to where we are now. Mm. I, I suppose the difficulty, though, from here is also gaining the credibility uh, of uh, some uh, investment arms, some of your clients as well. Uh, you can imagine that in a time like this, it becomes very difficult to only just entrust the PIC. Do you think that you get that? You get the sense that people may want to come back to the PIC in many regards because of this appointment? Well, undoubtedly. First, uh, we want to believe that uh, the... Um board that was put in place was a respectable board, a highly experienced board that could address what needed to be addressed by way of ground clearance for the building that has got now to take place and one major uh, building block to that is the appointment of the chief executive officer. Uh, most of the department, virtually all of the departments in fact were headed by people who were um, uh, uh, acting, then you can't run an organization that way. Yeah, no, certainly not. What becomes Mr. Abel Sutole's sort of first job when he enters that office then as well? What's the first sort of thing you'd like him to do? Well, there are a number of things that he would have to do, and uh, what uh, he might need to do is to prioritize. First, even though uh, he was um, working for one of our clients, in fact, the biggest client by far, and therefore has a very, very sound understanding of how the PIC actually works, he needs to be able to get there and examine what is broken in local. And um, having done that, prioritize what he might need to do. Uh, our sense when we got there was that um, the organization was not uh, functioning in an aligned fashion. In other words, uh, even the sense of uh, destiny which determines the vision was not clearly articulated. And we've been working mm. uh, on that to some, uh, some extent, but I believe that it's something that has got to be championed by a uh, chief executive officer who has permanent. Uh, the morale, having um, you know worked or operated uh, for some 18 months to two years under the spotlight of uh, the Party Commission, amongst other uh, issues, uh, the morale would need to be boosted. But that can only be boosted yeah. by people having faith in the leadership. And having done that, mm -hmm. then um, the strategy might have to be uh, revisited properly. I have, I have already referred to a newer model uh, or a new model that uh, would actually have to be in place. And that model effectively says there are divisions, physical divisions, that need to be resourced uh, at the C-suite level. Now, having uh, now secured the services of... Um, uh, able, we 
one of the first things that we did was to make sure that uh, the position of chief executive officer and chief investment officer are separate. Why those were collapsed into one, only God knows, uh, because uh, you then lose checks and balances. So the reintroduction of that as separate position and the introduction of the chief operating officer who will deal with most of uh, the day-to-day -day operations whilst the leader of the organization who is the chief executive officer looks at the grand design and uh, making sure that it, it is actually also in place. Uh, we will also be um, having um, somebody to look after ethics because ethics is where this organization actually floundered and almost started to a fall. Um, our sense is that um, uh, any successful operation rests on two pillars. One, competence, or, which is provided by the professionals. And second, yeah. uh, ethical conduct. So he will actually have to look after that. And flowing out of that is about everything relating to governance and operation uh, can, in fact, uh, then be driven. And they can only be driven with somebody, with, by somebody who is staring on, on terra firma and we want to say, to, to believe that uh, somebody who has a five-year contract is standing on terra firma, somebody who has had their intellectual training with three different m master's degrees uh, and, and worked for virtually everything that is germane to what is um, being done by PIC. This, we want to believe. Mm would be very, very helpful. But, he worked but, for Futures Research. But because I, he I, I, for, um, clearly the to-do list then is, is, is certainly very hard. I'm sorry to, to dis, uh, disturb, of course. It's just r running out of time. Very quickly, though, your board term does come to an end. Will the rest of the board be re-standing for their new term? Um, that I cannot answer because we are actually called uh, by the leadership of the country. Uh, it was national duty calling, and we answered uh, for the period that we were, we were uh, um, appointed for. Uh, it is the prerogative of the shareholder yes. who happens to be government through finance and treasury to say, well, continue because there is a need for you to continue to stabilize things and to make sure, sure. that you provide uh, the basis for the new chief executive to actually operate or they might say, well, only half of you must remain to make sure that there is a continuity and we will get others. That is their prerogative, not ours. So I wouldn't yeah. be able to answer that question. Mr. Rodokosa, thank you so, so much for the time. They really, really appreciate it. The to-do list clearly absolutely large then there for uh, the incoming CEO uh, of the Public Investment Corporation there, that being Mr. Abel Sitolo, moves from the Government Employee Pension Fund now to the PIC. That's the chairperson there, there being uh, Ruel Koza. All right, let's take a quick look.